In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use one point lighting to take a simple line out from this and color it to look like this. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see exactly how I do this. And also let's make this video get up to 500 likes. So please give the video a thumbs up because all likes matter. If you are new to this channel, I make art tutorials for coloring comics and I share beginner artist tips and advice for young artists starting out and seasoned veterans so you can click the link above to check out other tutorials i've made and be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more content that i'll be putting out in the long run so for those of us who watch music videos i think we're all familiar with this music video director colin tilly his short music videos for Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and some other different artists. Now he is visually, he's usually fond of using multiple lighting setups, but although sometimes he also uses simple one, one key lighting setups. Now, if you take a look at this image, you can see that there's basically just one main light source coming down from the top, and it's this bluish teal light source and how they do it is they usually have sky domes sky panels which are sometimes led light sources which they use to light the characters in the scene or the models in the scene so sometimes you could actually use a normal light and then put a gel over it to change the color but i think these ones are led light sources and he's always using either a one point light source like this which is the same thing but a purple light coming from the top and then he kind of has a secondary light just to fill the shadows because right now this is a music video and to make it really bump to make it really pop out they will usually use two colors just to make it visually pleasing but you can see here sometimes it just switches to just one key light which is just the key, which is just the key light from the top which is the purple light and it just look it makes everything look monochromatic and if if done right it is it leaves a pleasing look on the image if you do it right you can see the same thing here in this image in this video he was using just blues and the main light source is being blocked by two maybe two barricades on each side or maybe barn doors are used to close the light to create this shaft of light where the model is just walking through to reveal herself and everything just looks so cinematic and cool you can see the same in this image of amber rose where it's just a blue monochromatic image and it looks really really cinematic now i think this was the same concept they use in the matrix movies whenever they go into the green the matrix whenever they go into the matrix itself and everything turns green it's the same kind of one point lighting setup they had but that one was over overemphasized also in the grading of the movie you can see here the same thing where it has the blue cyan light source coming in from above now i'm going to go into photoshop now and i'm going to show you how we can take examples like this and use them to create our own images so these inks these drawings this drawing was sent to me by pyru daily hicham hapchi he's a really fantastic and amazing artist and He's been a friend of mine for some time now so we usually do collaborations the last image i did of the dynamic lighting tutorial was also his drawing and i'm going to color this drawing of his own so right now 
he did this digitally so i don't have to be changing the line art from normal to multiply so i just created a layer underneath it and i'm going to fill it with a blue color because i want the base mood of the image i'm going for in my head i want it to be a little bit bluish but just like we saw with the lighting setups that colin tilly uses with his purple my key light my one light here is going to be red so right now i'm already thinking of how i'm going to contrast the red so i've already thought of the contrasting color of red is green so i'm going to make the background a little bit green but i desaturated it just so i can make the red way more saturated and to pop from the background when i'm painting when i'm doing the colors for the image so i just created a gradient from the top of the image and i used a darker shade of the green i'm still leaving it saturated and i pulled it down then i went back to the layer i made with the selection of the character and i created another layer above it and i just brushed in red now this i'm doing all these on a normal layer there is no um layer mode selected right now it's just a normal layer and i'm just using red to paint in the places where the light is hitting the character like we just saw with the music videos this is just going to be using just one light setup i'm in my head i'm thinking that there's a red light coming in from the top and i'm just going to be rendering the parts of the character where the red lights are hitting now for this kind of art style i like to stylize the shapes that i make i don't i i will still follow the shapes of the muscles and the forms but i just play around with the shapes i'm creating so i might make a triangle to indicate a plane i might make an oblong shape i might make just I might just make lines to indicate some movement and I just like to play, play around with the shapes that I create especially with styles that are a bit simplified and angular like this but if the style is way more it's more geared towards comics I'll have to really kind of sit back and just follow it like I'm doing a proper comic book but with this one where there are no blacks in the image it gives me way more room to play around with the shapes that i'm creating and the values that i can use so i just created a multiply layer and i'm just brushing in lightly just a little bit of blue into the shadows because if a really red harsh hot light is coming from the top you know that the shadows are going to be cool but you have to keep in mind the intensity of the light source so you don't just make all the shadows appear cool so like right now where the light source is really hot and harsher towards the head you have to reduce how much blue you put in the shadow because you have to think about the light is weak is closer to his head so it's going to spread and still fill in a little bit of those shadows so it's not just going to be pure blue there's still going to be some red bouncing back into the shadows of his head but for the shadows under his chest under his arm on his abdomen those ones will reflect a lot of more blue lights and a lot of environmental ambient lighting because those are a little bit farther away from the light source so you just have to keep in mind how close the forms you're rendering are to the light source and how how if they're curving if they're curving curving towards the light source or if they're curving if they're curving away from the light source so right now i just made an effect and used purple because purple is i won't say it's really a contrasting color to red but it's kind of a harmonious color with blues so if i have red blue and purple in an image those are harmonious colors they work together so i can have green as the contrasting color so I used the purple as a contrasting color and I did it an outer glow on the layer just to make it reflect a little bit. So right now I'm just rendering the chains on his neck and I'm just doing some scratches and just a little bit of that glare, that glow, that metal 
makes or you know change shiny shiny swords some anime effects everyone loves effects i'm going to have to do a separate video on just making effects i think everyone just loves looking at pretty nice decent effects and i love making effects too so i like to make a separate video just talking about effects so right now i'm just basically maintaining that single light source coming from the top and i'm just rendering the catch highlights but because this is a red light if you study how red how colored bulbs work they don't really have that much of a highlights they don't really have that much of a bright highlight especially if it's like a colored bulb or like a gelled bulb so you really won't want to make your highlights that bright or shine that much so you just have to make them bright but just control it and make the highlight roll off so it's not it's not just climbing all of a sudden to white you have to think about how with the kind of light that you're trying to imitate in your image so just think about all this and do studies to understand how different light sources work and how light bulbs react how tungsten lights which are the normal orange bulbs how those react how led lights react it's just it's just a lot of studying and watching movies and just looking at how other artists do this same kind of render the same kind of lighting setups in their own images and then just understand how they were able to do it and then how you can use the same kind of approach and technique that they're using to bring up your own images and your own art so right now i can see that i have pretty much brought his body and the lighting to a decent level so i've started rendering the environmental lights now these are just this is just what i'm doing is just the bounce light that's coming in and filling into the shadows from the bottom from below him and i'm just filling them lightly you have to think of how bounce light works because it's not a direct light source it's light bouncing off an object you can make it brighter than the main light source so you just make it subtle but you can still feel its presence so right now i'm just making more levels and detailing the pants he has on just making some shapes playing around with the movement of the image and just to keep everything flowing and looking like the character is way more solid than before i don't know if anyone just saw the delta force soundtrack i was listening to I, I don't know why if you have watched delta force in this video any one of you that's watching this video and have watched delta force i salute you you're an absolute legend i grew up watching those 80s movies i really really loved them and i think those were kind of also the things that inspired my lighting and appreciating of these kind of images and just really my love for Dave Raposa because we just kind of have the same taste but his is because he has his own different experiences and I have my own different experiences we still have our different we still have our differences but we just have some similar traits and similar influences so right now i'm just creating some atmospherics just to separate the legs and make it look like the one behind is moving it's it's behind it's it, it looks like he's coming forward so i just made the his leg just pushed it back a little bit with some atmospherics on a normal layer and the layer is above everything it's above the inks too just to make sure that i'm covering both the line art so if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like i want this video to get up to 500 likes so please just leave the video a like <laughs> and even though you don't like the video just leave it a like please all all likes are appreciated thank you thank you very much yeah thank you also leave comments you can ask me any questions on this or any other thing you have i love to give a special shout out to my patreon supporters thank you for letting me do what i do and 
if you love to support my work and my channel you could go down and click the link in the description to subscribe to my patreon page and with all that being said i will see you in the next video peace